fellow wood turners, Kerry Harrison here with another simple wood turning tool. This is an accessory that I'm really excited about. As you know, these are made by all simple wood turning tools are made by Harrison Specialties. And uh, this is our second generation hollowing system. And the uh, reason I say it's our second generation is because we had a completely different style that I made a number of years ago. And uh, I got a lot of feedback from customers on improvements that could be made to it. And uh, so I think I've incorporated all of those improvements and suggestions into this system. It's fully articulating. And uh, I just want to show you how to mount it. You get these, this mounting base. You got a quarter 20 screw here. And you thread that in here. And then this will just drop in here like this. And that base or that clamp is threaded. The screw that comes with is plenty long so that it'll fit on just about any lathe. <coughs> uh, I know for sure that this system will fit on three lathes that I have. I used to have three anyway. Uh, one, this is a 1642 jet. And it also fits on a, a mini lathe. I got a mini lathe over here, a little Rikon. I'll get into that a little later, show you how it fits on there. Uh, anyway, that's the first step. Mount that mounting base on there. And the second step, drop this pivot pin in here, tighten it with the Allen wrench. Third step is this part of it here. Oh, whoops. First, you got to put a collar on here. Got a locking collar. Drop that on there. And we got some thrust bearings. And they slide on there, like so. Now we'll put this on. So this is the main articulating part of it, obviously. And you see there's engraving here. Hopefully it shows up on the video. That tells you which side is up. And now the easiest way to align this is to just put a tool in there. I'm going to go ahead and put a simple shear cutting finisher in there. Tighten that up. And you see I've got a center in my in my uh, headstock here. So we'll just line that up like so. You can see, hopefully you can see here in the video, I'm just sort of adjusting it here. Now everything is made with very tight tolerances. So you can see the thing will just stand there like that. Now I'll raise this up, lock that, and now we'll see how it how it slides under the whoop, under the uh, or I should say over the tool rest. And we're not quite hitting on the tool rest. So what I'm going to do, drop this down just a little bit, push this down, and that should be it right there. Yeah, we can raise it. Actually, i got to raise this up. I did that a little bit wrong. Raise that back up. I should have raised up the tool rest because we're right on the center there. That's why I'm using that, uh, that center in the headstock. It tells me the exact center line of the lathe. So now we know that when we're cutting, we'll be aligned perfectly. And what we want to do here, just make sure that the tool rest is just supporting the tool. I guess I got to come down. No, I got to come up a little bit. Come up a little bit more. We're just supporting the tool there, and it slides real free and easy over the tool rest. And this thing, and like I said, there's really tight tolerances here, less than a thousandth of an inch in all of these machine parts. So this thing is just silky smooth. The way that it works is these the red pieces. They're they're anodized aluminum. The pins inside are hardened dowel pins, and then there's thrust bearings in, in these joints also. So this thing is going to last uh, basically forever. There's no way that it's ever going to be a, you're ever going to be able to wear this out. And as you can see, it articulates all any direction imaginable. So you can go you can get on the front of the turning. It's really cool. Really, really works nice. Okay, so then the rest of the installation process, pretty straightforward. Drop another thrust bearing on. 
put a locking collar on. I guess I'll put it on that way. Lighten it up. This is just, you don't even have to put any pressure on there. Just make sure everything is nice and smooth. So that's about it. Now, depending on um, what tools you decide to use with this or purchase with, uh, we'll determine what what comes with it. Of course, we sell just the hollowing system alone. We sell it with the laser. I'll show you the laser here. The laser is real simple to put on too. If you buy the laser pointer option, just click that on there like that. Pop this up here. And then we'll just make sure that it's aligned parallel with the tool approximately. And now we got that on there. And the laser is another thing about this one. I, the first generation hollowing system, I used the battery powered lasers. I tried a bunch of different kinds and man, I just had nothing but problems with them. So I, I found this commercial laser and built a special mount here for it. You can't really see the laser because it's up inside there. I'll just tip it here a little so we can kind of look at it. But anyway, this is a commercial laser and it's the lasers that are used uh, you know, in, in laser levels and stuff like that. So it's a really good quality laser. It's not battery powered. We got a power supply, as you saw, that I plugged in here. So there's no batteries to monkey with. And uh, I believe this laser is gonna, gonna work really good for a long time. In these, I know in these videos, it looks like there's a real uh, big blob there. It's just the way the video takes it or the, the video camera takes the image. It's not really a big blob, it's a real fine point. So you might wonder, well, what do you need the laser for? Well, pull the center out of here and I'll put this bowl on here. Show you why, what's so nice about the laser. You don't have to use the laser, of course. That's why we sell it without the laser. So if you don't want the laser, you don't have to have it, but you can see, well, I'm gonna adjust this to where it's about a quarter inch away from my from the tool there, from the cutting edge of the tool. And slide this up here. Now, since it's a quarter inch away, when I stick this in here, I can find out that I've got almost just a little over a quarter inch wall thickness. So it shows your position inside the turning all the time. It makes this turning really makes it so simple it shows you the depth you can tell right away where the where the cutter is and this is especially important if you're doing closed forms you know uh, something like this here you know you can stick this stick the tool in there and then you can see exactly what the depth is and you can also tell the you know where you are as you're going inside there so that's a nice accessory so that's that's one accessory for it uh, where the most likely tools that would be used with this are the, are the uh, simple shear cutting finisher. Now this is the 12 inch length tool that we've sold for years and years. And when it's in here, we've got a depth of about nine and a half inches. So one of the things that people always ask me is how deep can you go? Well, if I slide the tool rest back here, the deepest you could go, you can see there would be about nine inches. And there's a lot of folks that want to do turnings that are that are uh, deeper than that. So, along with this hollowing system, we came up with a 16-inch shear cutting finisher, so we can get deeper inside of vessels. So it's a matter of just sticking that in there. Now let's see what we got. We've got back this up a little bit. We can go to a depth now of 13 and a half would be about the maximum. I guess if you were gonna run the, the turning right up to the tail or to the tool rest. Here, let's back this up a little. I can't get my ruler in there good enough to show you. So I'll just get loosen it a little bit here. I got these little struts across the the bed here, so sometimes they get in the way. There we go. Slide her back a bit. Okay. Let's 
So maximum depth with the 16 inch tool would be 13 inches. And we call it a 16 inch tool because it's 16 inches overall. It's a two and a half inch tang inside of the tool holder here. So that'll give you lots of extra depth. And actually this tool is real nice to use on this because even if you're, even if you're not going that deep, it makes the thing nice and long and it's real easy to uh, it's real easy to, to operate this and you can see the laser of course is all out of whack here I better change that because of the longer tool I'll just position that like so anyway you get the idea now we can use this tool you can kind of see what I'm doing here let's measure this bowl this bowl is 13 and a half diameter and it measures about four and a half inches deep so the other tool options that you'll see on our website or Amazon wherever you happen to be looking at this we have the simple swan neck hollower of course because obviously this is a hollowing system so I suppose you'd want to use the swan neck hollower with it if you're going to do again if you're going to hollow vessels like this one you got to adjust the laser of course because it's a different tool like so and that'll let you get up inside there so we've got the swan neck hollower available and the simplest tool of them all to use, absolutely never get any catches with this no matter what, is the simple turner and hollower. And that one of course has the flat round cutter on it. Oop. Get those loosened up. So that's that tool, of course, and that one, of course, will do the, you know, you can do the inside, outside, whatever you want with that tool. So those are basically the options that come with it. Now, uh, you can use any of our simple wood turning tools in it, the 55 degree detailer, 90 degree detailer, whatever. They all fit in there, the simple rougher. Uh, one question that I got a lot was, will it fit on a, on a mini lathe? So you can see I've got one mounted here on the mini lathe just to show you. So this is a 12 inch Rikon. Um, how long the bed is on this? Get my ruler here. So this bed, 24 inches I guess they'd call it, or 23. You can see I've got a little hollow form vessel on here. Now this system because it's so fully articulating, not only can you get it inside here, it fits in there real nice, and you can see how it articulates there. Another thing that you can do is you can turn the outside of a vessel with this. Now you say, okay, why is that important? Well, over the years I've gotten a number of phone calls from people that are in wheelchairs, or they have other physical uh, situations that make it hard for them to control tools. Some of them have, they don't have much strength in their hands. Might be hard to hold on to a regular handled tool. So one of the things with this system is the ability to do the outside of a vessel. Like you can see here, we could turn the whole outside of this. We can turn the outside and the inside just by swinging this around. And we can get in there. And that should be a great help to someone that has to turn from a seated position or they have other situations that make it difficult. So I just want to show you how that works. And of course, you can put the laser on here. Oop, spin this around. Stick the laser in here. line it up. About like so, and then as you see, same as before, it shows on the outside of the vessel. 
this would be a good candidate here for the swan neck hollower anyway because you can't really get this whole inner part here you can see with the, where the laser is pointing I'd leave this there's a chunk in here I couldn't get so the swan neck hollower would be perfect for that so anyway that shows you the of course the laser pointing again showing you your position I guess I didn't have that set too good should be more more like about like that there you can see I'm just about down to the bottom there but anyway that's our latest accessory I'm really happy with this thing and I think the folks that get it will like it too because it is just a it's so smooth and nice the way that it works and there's it's because it's so tight tolerances you know like if you have it over here and you have this stretched way out slide it back a little bit you can see that look at how the how the there's so much mechanical advantage between here and the fulcrum that and because it's so tight there's no movement hardly at all in this so it just cuts really nice and smooth and uh, of course there's going to be absolutely no catches so anyway there you are that's our new system um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's something that you can use thanks for watching mm -hmm.